So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut your own hair. There's quite a few videos on YouTube about this. Some people are good at it, some people are alright with it. I've been doing it for years, so I got pretty good at fading. Which is really hard to do on your own head, especially in the back, but... Eh, practice makes perfect, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it short, like probably around a one, because I like it tight around the ears. And then it's going to go gradually into one and a half, two, three, four. And I've been trying this new thing where my hair on the top is really long. So I'm going to try to do that. I don't know if it'll look good because usually I have it about, you know, short and spiked and messy. But I'm going to try to go up high with it on top. And Anyways, I'm going to start off with a four because that's how I like it up around here. Anyways. I'm going to start out doing this, and you're going to want to wash out your hair most likely. I didn't wash out the top, but I washed out the sides, because that's how I want it. I'm not going to touch the top, so you can hear it cutting. So we, what you want to do is kind of like flick it out a little bit, like up near the top. And this is with a four, number four closed. It's just kind of trimming it. You can't really tell much of a difference right now but I'm going pretty high with it because it's all right I like that nice tapered look so I like it to be kind of long now a lot of people when they do the back they're going to want a mirror right I have one but I don't really need to use one at the moment so I can feel where the line is later on I'll probably use one just to make sure Plus, doing it long enough, you get pretty good at it, so it's not really a problem. I'm right now, but yeah, you don't really need a cape, but I don't like hair all over me. So, even before I shower, it just gets itchy and annoys the hell out of me. So, I'm not going to use that. Anyways, this is a three. Whoops, there's a three open. You can get a pretty good estimation of where the fading part is. Me, I mean you need good lighting too. The lighting is always a bonus. Definitely helps because it can look good in one way and then as soon as you get out of some like the sunlight. Pull down your ear, get behind there. You want to go against the grain, with the grain a little bit. Depends on how your hair grows, what kind of hair you have. We close the three. Like I said though, you get a lot better at it over time. Because at first, I mean, I was, I had like, the fade wasn't that good. There was like a line around my head, but it was like as close as I could get it. After time, I learned a lot of tricks. Watched some videos on YouTube. Um, observed barbers. Now I cut a whole bunch of people's hair and I fade it all the time. It's like if you don't want to fade, then I don't really want to cut your hair. <laughs> so I like doing the fades. I got really good at it. I mean, when you have a haircut like mine, it's a lot easier because you, on other people, you can do a scissor over comb and clipper over comb. And it's a lot, it's a lot easier on someone else's head. But mine, I use nothing but guards. I have so much supplies too. You want to like keep cleaning off your clippers. You want to oil the blade so it cuts better. I got all sorts of guards. I'm gonna do a two open.
But like I said, it all depends on how you like your haircut. If you're the kind of person that likes a temple fade, or doesn't care if it's tight around the ears or not, maybe you like it like straight, like just a two the whole way, because you like the way it, it looks or whatever, or a three, or whatever, that's you. Me, I like it really tight around my ears, so it gives it that tapered V look from my ears. I would highly suggest other people use a mirror when they do the back. If you're not used to it, it's the most to get loose on me. Anyways, right, here we go. Too close. You can kind of do like me with my hair. It's not a big deal, but you do like a two open, two and a half, like halfway open or whatever. And the two close. Me, I just do it from like close to open or open to close. Because. I'm pretty good at like the flick of the wrist. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know. Like I said, I always check in the light, make sure. So I turn do a turnaround. Watch out for the, the long spots. Now, a lot of like beauty supply stores or like salon stores, wherever you get hair products and you can find universal guards for like pretty much anything or any clipper, which look like this. And the weird thing is when the, the spring is on there, like see I just had a two. This one, if you close it all the way and put it on, it's just under a two, like not even a one and a half. It's like a one and three quarters. But anyway, this thing, you can hear it. Barely cutting my hair. Barely. Okay, open it up. It's like a two. Pretty fancy. Sometimes when you see a line there, you can take it and instead of shaving up, you can kind of like come out and slant it if you're really good, like on your head, like out like that. I guess with the tip, sometimes I do that, see? You can go up and then you can barely hear it hit the hair. I hump blend in a line. A lot of times because like I do that around the temple and then the back. You just got to be really slow. Really careful with it. Like you can see, you see? You can see there is probably a little bit of a blotchy line there, but it's alright, so I'm gonna work it in. But see when you get closer, when it's more visible, you gotta take it slow. Unless you're really good at it. And I mean you can go at your own speed. It's fading, fading in pretty good. Looking snazzy. Alright. Try this out. I don't know how the how it's gonna look on me. I'm trying to grow this out. Usually it's like short. It's spiked and looks like a little pretty boy look. But I'm trying to do this thing where I'm growing on my hair on top. Kind of like an undercut, but not that long, because I mean too long with a part, just kind of my opinion. If you can rock it, it's you, but me, no sir me. I'm not gonna do it. But I'm trying it out. Something close to it. Kinda adding volume. 
like a puffy volume up to the front. Kind of looks like it's slicked back but high up. The mouse, you see? Look from the front, look at that fade, and then look from the side, from the side. It's working its way, it's working its way, getting closer. Alright, let's see here. Some of these, if you're good with scissors, some of these extra hairs. I got thinning shears, regular scissors. I'm going to take the regular scissors and uh, let's see. Probably not a good idea. But there we go. Right, fluff them up and out. Yeah. You can kind of like point cut, shape it up a little bit. I mean, little hairs that you can see there. Oh, right there. There's a nice big thing. Boom. Move on over here. Yeah. too bad. So I'm going to use this big bad boy. I can kind of take from the back a little bit. So right about there, looks so good. I'm going to create a little one. I'm using the smallest one that I want my hair to be on, which is kind of like a one and a half ish, I'd say. Not exactly one hundred percent. This, one. this is the next step up. I'm going to work my way up in the back because that's how I do it in the back. But if you're different, you can do it different. That's on you. Try to blend in this one a little bit. Best as I can. Some people I see on YouTube do like make these lines and work their way up and blend them in. That does work. I'm not that good at, good at it that way. I just kind of got, got good at blending it in. When you do it like this, it's kind of like working backwards. So. so if you're starting out, take your time and learn and go really slow and easy and learn how to move. So going backwards. Just down and get the neck out of here. Right well, there it is. 
is finally done. Now it's not the best haircut in the world, like I said. Sometimes I take a lot longer. It usually doesn't look too too bad. Um, it's pretty much it. Uh, you just got to be glued. So sometimes another tip: if you can't get a certain spot, like in the back or on the side, to to fade that well, just take like I use got to be glued. This stuff. It's like pasty. Now, I don't know if it's great for your hair. I don't know if it's bad. I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. I might, uh, years from now, I don't know. But I know there are some clays and pomades and stuff that'll shape your hair nice and, and gel. So what you want to do is kind of like push, like wherever that fade is and kind of like mess with it and, and whatever and kind of make it look blended in and like a wet look so it doesn't really look like, like there's a line there. So I do that sometimes if I do catch a mistake. So other than that, though, yeah, there it is. A little faded haircut for you.